here we are in downtown Leeton where Walter Burley Griffin practiced obviously with his circles before he um, went to Cam or did Canberra and the lovely Roxy Theatre in the, in the Art Deco style. See some of the dates on the building up here. 1928-1915. There's an avenue of palm trees along here which are just Sweet. lovely. Okay. We've got grape vines on one side here at Leeton. As far as the eye can see. And orange groves on the other side. Lots of oranges on those trees too. And here's the Murray irrigation system that allows all this fruit to grow. Here we are at the famous Bertoli in Griffith. And it is not a disappointment. It looks amazing. There is just so much here. Wow. Fantastic. Oh look, there's even hot food you can have as well. We've purchased our cannoli and we're going to sit outside here and eat them because of the COVID-19 restrictions. And here we are at the Hermit's Cave lookout overlooking Griffith. It's quite lovely. How come Hermit's always like a good view? National Park? Um, here we are at the main hermit's well, at the hermit's cave. This is the entrance, and apparently he dug this out. Oh, and you can see there, he's given himself a lovely view here. Beautiful. <laughs> Andrew thinks he's found the kitchen. Oh, it says there, kitchen. Okay, kitchen, kitchen so area. Okay, and this is the dugout area. He's done a bit of brickwork there or stonework. As far as it goes. And this is the actual hermit's cave. Well, there's all sorts of unfortunately graffiti here. Andrew, do you think you could be a hermit here? Well, it's not. It's not quite. I'm not. I'm not overly tall, but it's just hitting my head now. Massetti's chapel, with its high domed ceiling and religious iconography, is reminiscent of the sacred grottos found in Roman Catholic countries in Europe. Massetti referred to Scenic Hill as La Mia Sacra Colina, or My Sacred Hill. Here's some more parts of the cave. It looks like an actual cave system, just like uh, instead of just one cave. So it looks like he's done something here. We don't know why. Back down. All right, and it, apparently it goes back down. Interesting. He's gone up here and there's a sign that says garden. So we're about to go and explore the garden. So here we are, we're lost at the Hermit's Cave. We thought we were going the right way, but now we've come right down the bottom here near the oval and we um, can't find our way back up. Andrew's gone along to try and find it. He thinks he's is found the way back up but we think we've gone a lot further than 1.07 kilometers so let's see how we go getting back up we're just completely lost andrew yes i'm where are you andrew's scouting it out hang on he's yelling out to me he's found a way up you're seeing some of the native wildlife that is the biggest billy goat beard i've ever seen we've come across a bit of a billy goat colony out here they're taking advantage of the sun and those other billy goats are joining them it's a bit of a surprise we made it back to the car i'm exhausted it is boiling hot i've had to strip down to my singlet and um we we're glad we found the car <laughs> Yeah, we, um, we come across a herd of billy goats or a family colony of billy goats um, uh, just about, about only 100 metres down this end, but I uh, didn't want to go too close to them, but I took some photos. All good. <laughs> so onward, hopefully to a winery now that we won't get lost in. 
success. I will earn drink now, I think. Here we are at Di Bortoli Wines. Yes, Andrew. We've made our purchases of uh, Botrytis dessert wine and we've had a very lovely afternoon. Here we've found these giant bottles representing the major winemakers of the area, which is quite fun as well to come and have a look at on the outskirts of Griffith.